All right, guys. Uh, this should be a pretty good one. Um, it is my Super Bowl special, so we will be putting a picture inside of a word. And as you can see from that little thumbnail there, let me uh, show you. Well, we're going to start off, of course. I did File New. And as usual, I'm going to go Print, Letter, Landscape, and then hit Create. All right. Here was the uh, Super Bowl special one. As you can see, I have the word Chiefs with a picture of the Chiefs in the middle. I have the word Bucks with a picture of the Bucks in the middle. And then I have a Super Bowl logo of the field, a picture of the field, and I have a blurred in the background. So I'll go through step by step. Um, to do this, I've already downloaded a picture that I wanted to use for the Chiefs. I've already downloaded the picture for the Bucks, and I've already downloaded the picture for the field. So if you want to kind of follow along exactly with me, uh, maybe you want to hit pause, download the pictures that you want, right? So obviously you don't have to use these teams, use whatever you want. Um, so hit pause, get your pictures. You need three things, right? A background picture. In this case, I did the Super Bowl logo. And then you need a picture for whatever two teams. So three pictures, one for each team in the field. All right, hit pause. All right, we're back. <laughs> All right, so hopefully you have your pictures. Now here we are. I have opened my new document. And the first thing I'm going to do is just place the background. All right, so that's file, open, and place. Okay. Got it in my downloads and it is called field one. And I'm just gonna make it big enough to cover the whole screen. If you're really worried about keeping your uh, proportions right, you can hold shift while you click and drag. But I'm not too worried about it. I'm gonna make this blurry anyway, so who cares? <coughs> then I hit the check mark. All right, next thing I need to type. So I'm gonna hit the typing tool over here on the left. You can hit letter T or just click on the T over here and choose a font. All right, since we're going to be putting a picture inside the font, you're going to want a font that's like kind of wide, a big fat type letter. I chose this one for my example. It's called Great Lakes. I'm going to choose a different one just to show you a little variety. You can use a different font for each team if you want. I'll, I'll do that as well. All right, we'll go with this one here, Goblin. All right, the size, if you notice up here, we have a slider. It maxes out at 150. It doesn't matter. We're going to change the size of it anyway. Don't sweat it. Just use the slider. Go over as big as you can. Color, irrelevant. You just need to be able to see it, right? So I'm going to go ahead and leave white. Click on the page and let go. All right. It takes a second. You'll see the loading at the top. Now it's ready. I'm going to type Chiefs. And I'm going to hit the check mark. All right. Now, that's way too small right but i didn't want to mess with the font size yeah you could highlight it and go up here and change the font size eh, easier this way right i've got that layer selected we can see is the last thing i did if you go to edit free transform right edit free transform and here it says Control alt t is the shortcut so you can try hitting Control alt t i've noticed some issues in chrome a lot of times it doesn't work properly so the most reliable way is just go edit and then free transform and that gives you the box around it. Now I can make this bigger. So how big am I going to want this? We'll go with right about there. That looks good. Move that to the middle and hit the check mark. All right. Now I need to put the picture that I'm going to put inside of Chiefs. All right. So I'm going to go File, Open in Place, and find my Chiefs picture. Again, make it big. Now, notice uh, it's all going to go inside of the word chief. So I'm not, I'm just making it kind of big like this so that it'll fit inside. And you'll see what I'm talking about. All right. And I hit the check mark. All right. And here's the magic of computers, the magic of technology. Look over here. I'm on the layer that says that has the picture of the chiefs, right? I'm going to right click on that layer. Let me right click over here. There we go. Right click. And now we can see, well, if I get my head out of the way. Oh, dear Lord. There we go. All right. Now I'll right click and we come down. That's it right there. Clipping mask. When I click on that, look what happens. Boom. We get a little arrow next to the picture and it's pointing down. Now you can see why that font I chose here is not as good as the other one. 
right? Let's look back at this other one. See, the letters are way thicker. So there's more picture you're able to see. So that's a, that's a significant difference. I'm not happy with it, but I'm not going to change it, right? All right, I can still make that bigger if I wanted to. I could select that layer and go to emit, uh, emit, go to edit, free transform, and I can still make this bigger. That might help a little bit, right? All right, hit the check mark. You can also click on the layer that has the picture, take your move tool, that's the white arrow on the top, right? Also letter V is in victory. And I can click and I can drag around, right? And so I can move the picture and adjust it. Now notice, I don't want to go too far. Now look what happens. I lost it on the left side, right? All right, that's good, perfect. All right, now it doesn't really stand out, does it? I need to get a stroke around the letters. So I'm gonna double click over here in the gray on the layer. Oh, make sure you use the right layer, the layer with the typing. Well, how do you know which layer has the typing? You, I'm a genius, so I named that picture I downloaded Chiefs and I typed Chiefs, so it looks the same. Um, the one with the big T in it, right? This layer with the big T, that's the typing tool layer. So I'm gonna click that. Now that layer selected, double click in the gray, I'm going to move this off to the side so I can see my letters. I'm going to go to stroke. Remember, you have to click on the word stroke. All right. If you don't, all right, this is going to happen. If you just click on, see, here you go. We have blending options. That's what happens when you open it. If you just click on the box, notice I didn't get the option. It still says blending options. So my tools haven't changed to the stroke tools because stroke is not highlighted. All it did was apply the last stroke I had used. If you want to change it, you have to click on the word stroke and you see that layer actually gets highlighted now. Now I can change the color. The chiefs are going to be red. Down here is the last color I used. I'm just going to click that, save myself the trouble. Remember you have to hit OK. All right, and you guys, I don't know if you know, change the colors, right? Click somewhere on the rainbow wheel itself and then you have to move the dot. You have to actually select something over here, right? And then you have to hit OK. All right, like I said, I want red. I'm going to hit OK. Uh, if it's too thick or too thin, right here, you can move the slider to make it super thick. I don't particularly like the slider, right? I prefer to just click in the box here on the right and then use the up and down arrow key. That gives you a little bit more control. I think I was at 11 last time or something. I don't know. Anyway, you take it to wherever you want. I'm going to hit OK. All right. Um, then you repeat that, right? So you go to the top layer. Uh, you need to type the word bucks. So you hit your typing tool, type the word bucks, add your picture, uh, put the picture for the bucks in there, of course, do the clipping mask. And then when you're all set, what's the last thing you need to do? Blur the background. I think it looks a lot better with a blurry background. So how do I do that? I'm going to select the layer with the background. That's the one that says field, All right? I'm going to come up here where it says uh, filter. There's all kinds of crazy filters. We'll get into that stuff later. Uh, blur. And if you just hover over blur, you get a whole set of options. Gaussian blur seems to be the most effective for what I want. That's just a general blur effect. It defaults here to 7.2. And you can see there's a little blur. I just like to click somewhere on the slider. Uh, for this one, I don't want to use the box to go up and down. I want to just click somewhere on the slider. I don't want to click and drag it. I want to just find a point and click it. And if it's too much or too little, then go ahead and move and click. See, so I'm going to come back here and click instead of dragging it. It seems to really slow things down. All right, that's nice. Perfect. Hit OK. All right, very good. That's it. I'll go ahead and add the bucks in here for the heck of it. So I'm going to go to the top layer. Hit T for my typing tool. Let me change fonts. That first one was terrible. Um, oh, there's a gruesome one. I have one that I like for Halloween and stuff. Um, it's a fun font. Bloody, I believe it's called. And since the Chiefs are going to leave the Buccaneers in a bloody mess, I think that will be appropriate. Right, let me just type in the word blood. Oh, there it is. Yeah. There's a default font called bloody. All right. Uh, this font, notice when I hit my typing tool, I resized the chiefs, right? It uh, remembered that size, 896. 
so I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to click down here somewhere. The font's going to load, and I'm going to type, whoops, bucks. Hit the check mark, take my move tool, let me move it over, and that's way smaller. So different fonts, even though the point size is the same, they end up looking much, much different. So I need to change the size. So once again, that was edit, free transform. Let me make this significantly bigger. Check mark, next step, file, open in place. Let me find my picture of the bucks. And it's about the same size as the chief, so I'm just gonna spread it out to about there. Perfect, I'm gonna take my move tool, move it down over the bucks, and I'm going to remember, we right click and go to clipping mask. All right, um, might as well show you a interest, well, I was gonna show you a trick, but we want a different color in it, but I'll show you anyhow. All right, so we, uh, have the effect here right so if you look at the layers this is the stroke around chiefs it says eff stands for effect if i hit the drop down arrow you can see the actual effect right there it is stroke so if i hold alt alt and then click on this little stroke here and move it up to the one where it says bucks that i was typing on and let go then it adds that stroke there right that's the easy shortcut but we want to change the color so just double click it after you add it or don't even bother just double click on it right and we'll go with the orange um, that's not orange that's orange enough hit okay hit okay all right very good happy super bowl and obviously you don't have to use uh, football for this be creative Right, some awesome ones are pictures of sunsets, right? The word sunset and a cool sunset picture inside it with a different sunset image behind it or, <clears throat> excuse me, the same sunset image behind it, just blurred. There's all kinds of interesting techniques for this. Uh, send me whatever interesting things you come up with. All right, see ya.